Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic the Distributed Component Object Model or DCOM. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, technology or you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, Distributed Component Object Model or DCOM is an extension to Component Object Model COM that enables software components to communicate with each other across different computers on a local area network LAN, on a wide area network WAN or across the internet. Microsoft created DCOM to distribute COM based applications in a way not possible with COM alone. Over the years COM has provided the foundation for numerous Microsoft products and technologies COM defines a binary interoperability standard for creating reusable software components that can interact with each other at runtime. This includes a standard protocol and wire format that COM objects use to interact when running on different hardware components. COM standardizes functions calls between components and provides a base interface for component interaction without requiring an intermediary system components. DCOM extends COM by enabling clients or and components to communicate even if they reside on different machines. To facilitate this communication, DCOM replaces the local inter-process communication used in traditional COM communication with a network protocol. In effect, DCOM provides a longer wire than COM, yet the client and the component are not aware of this difference. Now what is the DCOM architecture? The DCOM wire protocol is based on distributed computing environmental remote procedure calls DE, DCE or RP, RPC, which provides a standard for converting in memory data structures into network packets. The DCOM protocol uses RPC to expose application objects while handling the uh, low level details of a network protocol. The client can call the components method without incurring any overhead. DCOM applications do not require a specific network transport protocol for carrying out client component communications. DCOM can transparently use a variety of network protocols including user diagram protocols, net BIOS, TCP IP and inter network packet exchange, sequenced packet exchange. DCOM also provides a security framework that can be used on any of these protocols whether communication less or connection oriented. DCOM also includes a marshalling mechanism that enables a component to inject code on the client side. This code serves as a proxy object that can intercept where multiple method calls from the client and bundle them into a single RPC. In addition, DCOM includes a distributed garbage collection mechanism that automatically releases unused references to COM objects, helping to free up memory on the host system. The garbage collection process is transparent to the application. Since it releases, DCOM continues to be integrated into Windows operating system. However, it has never been embraced outside the Microsoft ecosystem to the degree once anticipated. In addition, a recent discovery of a security vulnerability has caused Microsoft to implement hardening change changes into DCOM which are being rolled out in three stages. The st first stage was introduced in 2021. The next stage is scheduled for 2022 and the final update released to this issue will occur in 2023. DCOM is Microsoft approach to a network wide environment for program and data objects. In many ways, it is similar to common object request broker architecture introduced by object management group like DCOM, CORBA provides a specification for distributed objects. However, because of security and scalability concerns, neither approach achieved the universal and widespread use 
that was once hoped for what with the rise of the internet dcom is a technology for component based development of software that is network aware using distributed component object model developers can create network aware applications using component object model component dcom works under various network transports including tcp ip dcom is a client server protocol that provides distributed network services to com allowing dcom enable software components to communicate over a network in a similar fashion to the method by which the com components communicate among themselves on a single machine dcom client objects make request for services from dcom server objects on different machines on the network using a standard set of interfaces the client object cannot call the server object directly instead the op operating system intercepts the dcom request and uses inter process communication mechanism such as remote procedure calls to provide a transparent communication mechanism between the client and server objects the com runtime provides the necessary object oriented services to the client and server objects the com runtime also uses the security provider and rpc to create network frames that conform to the dcom standard in microsoft windows nt and windows 2000 dcom requests are sent using rpc windows nt and windows 2000 use security features such as permissions to enable software components to securely and reliably communicate over the network dcom is an extension of the component object model component object model explain how components and their clients interact this interaction is the way the client and the component can connect without the need of any intermediary system component suppose when client and component are present on different machines dcom replaces the local inter process communication with a network protocol then uh, friend uh, neither the client nor the components are aware that the wire that connects them has just become a little longer the dcom runtime provides object oriented services to clients and components and uses rpc and the security provider to generate standard network packets that confirm to the dcom wire protocol standard in order to support this reusable software component the complete object model is based totally on object based programming model the object model is used to select due to its in incapability to provide inheritance which means that the above the, uh, the architecture is successful in keeping off fragile base class syndrome which exists in different models so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you